Hi everyone. Uh, I'm called Max, um, and I am a system engineer with New England Systems. I come from a data warehousing and business intelligence project architecture and management background, and uh, kind of following Tim um, and and his notes on on Netiza, I'd like to point out that I've seen a lot of uh, projects which start. Um, at the point where a database software or a vendor is chosen. There is a huge project management or project life cycle that starts at that point and with an appliance like Netiza, that entire project is kind of cut, cut off because Netiza, as he said, is a load and go uh, solution. Once the data is in there, there is nothing else that you uh, uh, that you do in terms of um, maintaining or creating a project around how data is stored and maintained uh, for effective business analytics purposes. Um, now, further now down the road for that is um, is downstream um, consumption of data using BI tools. Um, and we're going to, uh, and this today we're going to talk about um, how Cognos, uh, which is another IBM product, integrates uh, in this entire space of things. So um, let's look at how Cognos and Netiza uh, talk to each other in a perfect implementation of business analytics. So um, Cognos BI, the latest version of it, is 10.1.1. Now this is optimized for Netiza. Uh, when we say optimize, what it does is uh, its primary goal is is faster query response. And for that, uh, Cognos, uh, the SQL, is optimized for Netiza. If, you, uh, if Netiza is the database behind the scenes for Cognos, the SQL is going to be optimized for Netiza. Uh, and the version of Cognos 10.1.1 or um, 10.1, uh, it is 64-bit uh, in-memory um, dynamic cache. It's 64-bit processing, which which has a lot of advantages that we, which we will see um, in in the slides going forward. Uh, the SQL that's generated by Cognos for when the data is behind the scenes, is optimized for aggregations, different types of analytical functions, rank functions, any of the, uh, um, I should say, analytical functions that are uh, that are really important in a BI framework. Um, we have dedicated engineering resources, and uh, that's a little uh, graphic that shows the performance time. Um, taken by the latest version of Cognos compared to the previous versions, and you can see the, you can see um, how fast the latest thing is because the SQL and the engineering resources are optimized. So we can go into details uh, to see how easy or how uh, you know, off the shelf it is to to, uh, to connect to uh, Netiza. However, complex uh, Netiza might look under the hood with all the S blades and um, the hose and all of that. It is fairly simple. It is just a um, couple of steps uh, to connect to Netiza. You create a, a typical ODBC connection. On here, I've shown a couple of screens for how uh, and how you connect on Windows. Where you can do a similar thing on uh, any OS that you might have. This is the first step in uh, creating the ODBC connection. When you look at this slide, you see the Netiza has a uh, has a separate connection object within Cognos called Netiza ODBC. You so which tells. This is the first step where Cognos knows that, okay, there is this appliance which is being connected and being used as a data source. So it optimizes everything from here. 
Now, apart from the ODBC connection, what's really important to take advantage of certain other features of Netiza is this JDBC connection. This JDBC connection enables uh, the 64-bit processing and other good features that that uh, Netiza provides, and it is it is as easy as this screen uh, how to set this up. A, a, a small step before this can be done is to is to is to install the JDBC driver, which uh, is available on the NZ uh, support website. Oh, by the way, the NZ support website is the most uh, user-friendly uh, support website that I've ever seen, uh, with a lot of information for developers and administrators. So uh, let's look at some of the features that uh, that work between uh, Netiza and Cognos. So Cognos, Cognos 10 uh, has this feature called dynamic query mode. Now this is the most important uh, feature in, the, in terms of performance uh, benefits that Cognos has that Netiza supports. And now we have the DQM enabled framework manager models and packages. And when models and packages, which are your metadata layers, when they uh, are supported, uh, Cognos, um, it supports, well, Cognos generates multi-pass SQL. And Netiza supports this multi-pass SQL, and the performance from the box is going to be exceptionally good when you have such such SQL generated by by the tool, and as we said earlier, this is this is 64-bit processing, so it's going to uh, take advantage of your resources that much. Um, we can um, okay, this slide is give, uh, well, want to give you some details about DQM on this slide. And what is DQM? It is a Java-based query mode. Which, which explains why we need the JDBC connection. Uh, it helps in uh, query optimizations. Um, a lot of um, uh, DQM, it generates not just SQL, but MDX. So DQM uh, helps in better MDX generation. Uh, security aware caching. This is an important feature where um, if you are a BI user, you know uh, the security uh, requirements for different user groups within a BI framework. Now your data, your report data, which is already queried from the database, is going to reside in, it is going to reside on the cache of your BI server. And the DQM mode lets this cache to be security aware. Again, it leverages 64-bit processing. And there is a cool feature of query visualization where you can actually look at, the, look at how data is being processed and the steps that it's taking to um, retrieve the data from the database eventually to the user. Uh, so all this uh, are the features of DQM, uh, which is a Cognos feature and which is supported by Netiza. So this is the actual uh, architecture diagram for uh, DQM. And as we said in the previous slide, these are the advantages. And when you... Uh, when we look at the architecture diagram, we want to assume that the query is being uh, run from right at the top. The query is, uh, actually goes through a transformation engine. And depending on what the situation is, it's going to follow these multiple steps. It's going to either uh, 
go through the SQL route or the MDX route uh, and either going to retrieve data from the data cache or query off of the database. So the query is optimized in, in the QM. The second step is the better MDX generation. Um, that's going to be in your second level. And uh, the third, the security aware caching, is when you look at the data cache uh, on, this, on this diagram, now security of data is, is one of the main features, main uh, important features of, of any BI tool. And the data which is residing in the cache, it has to know uh, the user privileges of the users who are trying to access that data. And the DQM architecture uh, provides for the same. Um, ease of maintenance, we're going to look at uh, in the next slide. But this is the architecture, which is significantly different from your regular uh, uh, architecture. And we call that compatible mode, and we call this mode uh, dynamic mode. So I just wanted to show some of the features in Framework Manager to see, uh, to show um, the marriage between Cognos and, and Netiza uh, uh, and the dynamic query mode per, per se. The way uh, these features are being projected in Cognos are not, are, are very, are supported by, by, Cog, by IBM Cognos in a big way. It's not just an XML file that you, that you tweak at, uh, at some place and uh, restart the server and try to see the benefits of it. These features are there up front. Uh, as you can see, there is a, you know, there is a dynamic query mode checkboxes. There are governors that you can set uh, to kind of manipulate your cache and things like that. Cognos Connection has new on the left side um, when you look at the content administration, uh, uh, there is there is a new tab for, and there is a new job for content administration to kind of maintain the cache that is on the server. Um, so these are the features. Um, so when you uh, look at these features, we say we the the database that's behind the scenes, you get a sense of how. Um, how much importance optimization is given in this entire framework of things. Uh, but this was um, how a query can be visualized. Uh, it's a separate tool. About when you install the DQM, a query visualization tool comes separately and every query that is running on your database or query for every report that is on your Cognos can be visualized this way. And anything that has a green across that node is pretty much optimized. Anything that's got a red probably has to be looked at. So it's a pretty cool way of looking at uh, what's a bottleneck in your um, query execution system. So uh, one of the main things in assessing um, the marriage between two different tools is how well they are supported. And because Cognos and Netiza are both IBM products, and because uh, IBM um, is fully backing up uh, these tools, uh, we know that this is a very good combination for us to run with. Um, Netiza is designated as tier one database for Cognos. And what this means is that IBM um, promises day one support for any kind of issues. Uh, I just put down uh, some of the um, lab results for performance with Netiza fact tables. Report execution is, is at least twice faster than on normal uh, than on other databases. 
SQL execution is 60% faster, and you can look at the other ones. One of the things that I wanted to mention here is master detail relationships. This is for folks that know um, how SQL is executed in a master detail relationship with subqueries and whatnot. There are this creates a lot of um, multiple SQL passes to the database. And Netesa is one of the databases that can um, accept those kind of queries and still optimize them because of the architecture um, of how it stores the data and retrieves them with, uh, with all the good stuff like the FPGA and stuff like that. 